That means as long as you have your breath, you must be awake. As long as you have your breath, you must be what? Glorify, be magnified, O God. Be Jesus, wonderful name, we have worship. Precious Father, we thank you this morning. We know this is the day that you have been with live to rejoice and we are glad in it. We thank you for your hand that is upon us. Thank you for your church and the representative of God globally. Thank you for the convention that was just being concluded. Thank you for the strength which you have given unto our Father and Lord and all the ministers, the wife and everyone. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the success of the program. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for the miracle signs and wonder that followed. Father, be exalted in Jesus' name. My precious Father, as we start the new year, oh God Almighty, as, as your children, we pray that Lord you will do new things. Amen. Do mighty things. Amen. Do Lord reveal yourself to us in a greater measure. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And do exceeding far above that which we ever ask of him. In all our endeavors. Amen. Lord, let us start even right now. Amen. To the glory and honor of your name. And as the world will be going for the prayer for Lord God Almighty for multiplication of your grace. Amen. The way that you have multiplied upon the life of your servant even this last weekend. Lord, extend that grace unto us. Amen. Extend that power unto Amen. us. That we will help your children. We over oh your servant will operate in a greater level Amen. of anointing, Amen. of ocean, of all trust. Let people know that truly you are a God. Amen. Let them know that we have no other God beside you. And, and prove yourself mighty. Amen. Prove yourself like a strong and a mighty God. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. Amen. Jesus, wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Can you please have your seat? I'd like to welcome every one of us into God's presence this morning in Jesus' name. And the prayer that I just prayed, I want to assure you that the Almighty God will prove himself strong. Amen. It, will, it will make the entire world know that he is our Father. Amen. That we have no other God beside him. God is jealous when it comes to his name. Praise the name of the Lord. So this morning I'm going to be speaking on, on the title, the, the word that I titled, Watch and Pray. Watch and Pray. And I'm bringing my message from the same passage of the scripture that we have been reading for a couple of weeks now. Probably like two months now. Matthew chapter 26 from verses 36 to 44. Matthew chapter 26 from verses 36 to 44. Then cometh Jesus to them unto a place called Gethsemane. And said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Verse 38. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. Verse 39. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cause pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. And he, and he come unto the disciples and found them asleep, and said unto Peter, What? Could ye not watch with me one hour? Verse 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Verse 42. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cross may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Verse 43, And they came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again and prayed a third time, saying the same word. Praise the name of the Lord. If you remember, we, we, we've had a lot of revelation from this passage of the scripture. God has been speaking to us in a very definite way. And, and I remember the last time that I spoke on this passage of the scripture, we, 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 we spoke about the frailty, the weakness of we believers when it comes to the place of prayer. That as at the time that our Lord Jesus Christ needed help, when he needed his disciples, people that were very close to him, to stand with him in time of trial, time of difficulty and challenges, they failed him. And why? Because... They were so tired. We, the, the time that they were supposed to be putting them, they, they, they themselves to work to pray, uh, intercede for him, the Bible says initially they were sleeping. And, and, and it started with a little slumbering, but, but after a while it became deep sleep. The Bible says their eyes were heavy. And when he realized that this was 
they have passed just just under uh, just a little weakness. He just told them, okay, but he, but he, but he gave them a warning. The warning in that he gave them was very simple. He said, watch and pray. We be, we be very watchful. That is the very, very key word that I want to we, we focus our attention there. He said, be watchful. Can you tell your neighbor, be watchful? Be watchful. Now, when you are talking about the word watch, what does it mean? W-A-C-C-H. What does it mean? You know, that, 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 that watch, is according to the dictionary, is defined as look out or observe attentively over a period of time. I like that definition because they put it there. It says, it, it says uh, to, um, to look out or observe attentively over a period of time. Because they, they, this definition is making us realize that as human beings, our attention lifespan is very short. Something, you know, be, before you know it, when anything is happening, then the, the tendency for your for your attention to be taken away from, from, from things is very high. If you don't focus on it for a long time. Praise the name of the Lord. If you don't focus, you know, it, 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 like, even in, in marriages, when husband and wife are far apart, Okay, and then they, they, they just see themselves and they give themselves. By the time they now come, come together, they find a lot. Because a lot of things have, 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 have gone, you know, because they are not gazing consistently. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you are here and you are not gazing at your wife consistently, then you need to watch. Praise the name of the Lord. You need to do what? You need to watch, yes. So if, 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 if your spouse is away, what do you do? You have to engage yourself consistently. Engage yourself consistently over the phone, over whatever means possible. Make sure that the connection is there on a consistent basis. Praise the name of the Lord. When you do that, then you are being watchful. What does it mean also to be watchful? It means to exercise care, caution, and restrain about something. To exercise care, caution, and restrain about something. And biblically, I put it here and spiritually, it says, um, I put it here that to exercise care, no, um, I said biblically it means to be awake, to be on the guard in all our waking, uh, in all our waking hours, and to have vigilance, awareness. Praise the name of the Lord. I read it again. To awake, to be on the guard in all waking hours. That means as long as you have your breath, you must be awake. As long as you have your breath, you must be watchful. As long as you are still a Christian, still, still breathing here and there, you must consistently be watchful. Praise the name of the Lord. We must be vigilant. We must be spiritually alert. And Lord, we must be consistently be, be prepared and be ready at all times. Can I hear your amen? amen? Yes. Because if, if you look, apart from, I was also searching other scriptures to see where else does our Lord, and Lord Jesus Christ ask, uh, ask the people to be watchful. The first place where he told them to be watchful was in the book of Luke chapter 21 verses 34 to 36. Luke 21 verses 34 to 36. He says, let me read it to you. You know, he, 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 over there, there was a caution that he gave to the disciples. He told them to live their life as if the end has come. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's read it together. Luke chapter 21, verses 34 to 36, but from 34 I read, it says, Take it to yourself, lest at any time your heart be overcharged with suffetings and drunkenness and cares of this world. Let me tell you, this is very important. If there is anything going on right now, the heart of believers is being overcharged with suffering, drunkenness, and the cares and the affairs of this world. What do I mean? What are, where am I going to live? What will be my future? Am I going to have a paper in America? When will I settle down? Oh, my mates are gone. Oh, this, this is where I am now. You see my sleep, I'm a little bit backward. Oh, I hate it. My, my mates have a lot of money. I see they have been in a lot of houses. Oh, they are politicians. They have a lot of money. See, this is where I am now. I don't even have it. They have the that I'm still living. See, they are not that I'm holding. Oh man, no man, no man. Oh, the kids are going to college. How do we pay their? How do we pay their school fees? Oh, the, the kids are going to see my friend. They, they, they already bought the, the car to their, for their children. Oh, I cannot afford to buy one. A lot of, a lot of, a, a, a lot of things. You know, something the, the affairs of this world and, and a lot. Are you listening to me now? 
Now, if I had you all of us here now, one thing that I've mentioned pertains to you. Praise the name of the Lord. But this guy is not thinking that our heart will be overcharged with all these things that we will not know when that day will come and we are. Praise the name of the Lord. That's the reason why they, 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 let, let me continue. He says, stay keep to yourself. Let at any time your heart be overcharged with some things and drunkenness and care of this world so that the day come upon you unaware. Verse 35 now says, for as a snare shall it come upon them that dwell on the face of the earth. See now, it, it, it's not pertaining to the Christian only. It's for everybody at the that, that, that live here on earth. It says, suddenly, as a snare, it shall come on them that dwell on the face of the earth. And verse 36 now says, watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Let me tell you, Son of Man is coming again. Praise the name of the Lord. But he said, what he said, watch therefore, pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all those things that shall come to pass. They are coming to pass now. All these things are coming to pass now. But the will of the Father is that all of us must escape, or, you know, must escape all these things that is happening around, around us. And what will make us to, to escape is when we are being watchful. When we are being prayerful. Praise the name of the Lord. And, and, and not just only that, if you look at the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. 1 Peter 5, verse 5, 5, 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because you are advancing the devil. As a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. That is the principal work of the devil. The devil come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But we thank the Lord that Christ Himself came to give us life that we might have it more abundantly. And if Christ can tell us to be sober, to be vigilant in His word, you need to take His word very serious. Praise the name of the Lord. Say because you are adversary with the devil, the, our adversary the devil is the adversary of all. He has pulled down a, a lot of people that have gone ahead of us. And in the name that is above every other, he will not pull you down. Amen. But the one thing just that you need that you need is you must be watchful. You must be watchful. Now, the question that you might want to ask me is which area do I need to watch out? Which area do I need to watch out? Number one is your heart. Where? Your heart. That is your whole being, your heart. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, it says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Keep your heart with all diligence. Out of it are the issues of life. If, if you know, if your, 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 your heart, you know, literally is a gateway to everything about you. Once, once you are not guiding your heart, you are not, you are not, you are not being mindful of, of, of what you are allowed to say to your heart, you are not being watchful. But you, you have to start right now. Can I hear your amen? amen. You must start right now. And like I put, I said, your, 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 I put it here, but that, that's my statement. I said, your heart is the gateway to all the affairs of your life. So guard the heart, guard your heart diligently. Guard your heart diligently. Don't let any man or any woman toy with your way, with your heart. Don't let the devil toy with your heart. There are a lot of things that want to trouble your heart. That's why the Bible, the Bible says in the book of John, the Bible says, do not let, let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart. There are a lot of things want to trouble your heart. Praise the name of the Lord. But you must guard your heart that your heart will not be troubled. Not just, not just that. Then do not, do not let your heart to be defiled. Many things are out there that can defile your heart. Many things are there that, 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 that might not let your heart be established in Christ that you have believed. You want to shift you away from him. You need to be watchful in all this. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's read again Psalm, Psalm 141. Look at what the psalmist says there. Psalm 141 verse 4. He says, incline my heart to uh, he says, incline not my heart to any evil thing. He was praying for himself there. Asking that the Lord will not incline his heart to any, any evil thing. Say to practice wicked works. With the men that walk in equity. And let me not eat of thy, thy their deity. See what is what that, that sincere prayer that he was praying about is heart there. Can you pray that prayer for yourself as well? That the Lord with himself will not let your heart do to you know the, 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 he says, incline not my heart to do any evil thing. So pray that prayer. Say, Father, incline not my heart to do any evil thing. To practice wicked works with the men that walk in. Go ahead and pray that prayer. 
that Lord, we have, Lord Father, we are asking that you will incline not my heart. To, to not incline not my heart, to God, to any evil thing. To incline not my heart to any wicked thing. To practice wicked works with the men that walk in iniquity. In the name of not eat of their deity. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Thank you, family. You need to be watchful. You need to be watchful. Guard your heart. Another thing that you also need to guard is your eyes. Where? Your two eyes. How many of you can see? You can see me. Yeah, because you can see me, you are in trouble. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. In, in the trouble, in, 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 in the sense that if, if, you, if, if you don't um, manage your eye well, you know, you, 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 can, you can get you in trouble. Can I hear you? Amen? Amen. It can get you to what? No. Let's see what the Bible says. First John chapter 2, verse 16. First John 2, 16 says, For all that I, that I, that I, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. See here, it, 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 it talked about the lust of the eyes. The lust of the eyes. But if, if your eye cannot see anything, you will not be able to behold it. If your eye cannot see anything, you will not be able to convert it. Isn't that so? Yeah. It was when, 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 when you see the thing, like, when, that's when you will not, ah, you see, ah, see the pastor, the way he's dressed in this day, this day, this day, this day is wearing this day, you know, this thing and that. If, if you didn't see what, see what I'm wearing, can, can, can you talk about it? I'm just speaking of myself, not because I'm wearing anything old. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, that, because if, if I pick on you, I say, Pastor, you see me to preach. <laughs> I, 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 I know what all my people will say. say, Pastor, you see me to preach. Praise the name of the Lord. But however, why, why we use, we, we, we use to ask something to say, yeah, it's, it's whatever that you, that you see. So the, uh, the Bible is now saying that, he says, for all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eye, and the pride of life, is it says what? They, they, are, they are of the world. They, what we are talking of lust, what does it mean? It means an unhealthy craving. Unhealthy craving and desire for things that are not lawful. Unhealthy craving and desire for things that are not lawful. When we are talking of they are not lawful, we are talking of biblically now that they are not lawful. Praise the name of the Lord. People outside there can do all things, but you as a believer, you, are, you, are, you don't have the right to do it. People outside there, they, can, they, 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 they have the right you know, to watch anything with their eyes, but you as a believer, you have no right to do so because they, 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 when you do that, it is also a gateway to your body. Do you know that? Whatever that you are watching that, 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 that will not edify you can corrupt your soul. Because your body doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the body of the Holy Spirit. The body is, is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You know, when we have been talking about the ministry of the Holy Spirit, isn't that so? Yeah. He has purchased you with a price. But let me ask you, as many of us that we are married, you are a man, you are married, wave your hand. Now let me ask you a sincere question. And I want you to answer me. Okay? Can you, can you share your wife with somebody else? Look, that's the question. The answer is either yes or no. Men on this side, what, what, what's your answer? Uh, eh? What's the count? This answer, what, what's your answer? Here. <laughs> See, Chief, here. <laughs> Sir, your beautiful wife. I will say, well, let me have that for the night. <laughs> what, what will you do? I'll try to know. <laughs> President of the Lord. I can even think you skip all the ministers so that you, you will not see our ministers now. No man can do that. The reason is because, you see, hold on. Why? Because we men, we are jealous of our wife. Not just the men. But let me also ask you, vice versa, our, our sisters, 
Can you can you borrow this? That sister, your wife? Yeah, I'm in the hotel. Yes or no? It, it, it goes, praise the name of the Lord. The same way, your body is not doesn't belong to you. It's the temple of the Holy Spirit. Whenever you are you are you are doing things that God that is gripping the Holy Spirit, He's jealous over you. God is he's a jealous God. Don't you know that? God is jealous over you. When 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 the world is sharing sharing you with Him, when your work is sharing you with Him. When, when anything that you can, that you can imagine is shared, is taking the, 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 the place of God instead of Him in your life. So we need to be very watchful. Praise the name of the Lord. We need to be very, very, very watchful. Let me continue. Which area, where do we need to watch? You need to watch the door of your lips. Watch what? The door of your lips. This message is not only for adults, it's also for all of us here. Young adults and everyone together. Watch the door of your lips. Psalm 141, that same psalm that we read. 141 verse 3 says, Set the watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Can, can you pray that prayer? Say, Father, Father please, set the watch please set the watch before my mouth. Before my mouth. Keep the door, Keep the door of, my of my lips. What we are saying is that God should padlock your mouth. You understand that because with your mouth, you, you see that you say the word that you will justify you, when you all you say the word that will condemn you. And the life, the Bible says, from your from your mouth is the, it is it is what what is called that proceed life and death. So you can see the reason why 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 you need to 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 to, to, to ask that the Lord will set the watch over your mouth. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray that the Lord will help you. Amen. So that you will make up your mind that before God, that, that, that whatever that will come from, from, from your mouth to God, you must be watchful about it. Whatever that will come from your mouth to your fellow brethren of the household of faith, even outsider, as a place of God, where you where you walk, you need to watch. Praise the name of the Lord. Especially the code you rule. Whatever you would want what, what anybody to say to you, why do you have to say it to somebody else? Let's continue. Set the watch over your lips. Then, number four. Watch. Stand fast in your faith. I say it again. Watch and stand fast in your faith. What would that mean? The Bible is asking you to watch your faith. When you are talking your faith about your faith, you are believing Christ. Remember the day that you became born again. Remember that you, when, the reason why you are born again is not just for people to call you Christian that you are not, that you are that you are a pilgrim here or not, that you are on your way to where? Here is not your home. We are in transit. Praise the name of the Lord. That's the reason why you must watch fast your faith. Let's see where I got that scripture. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. First Corinthians, he said, Watch ye, stand fast in your faith. Watch ye, stand fast in your faith. Quit ye like men, be strong. Praise the name of the Lord. Your faith is very important to know. God does not want you to lose your faith. God does not want you to backslide as a Christian. Let me continue. If you see the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 3 to 4, see how important your faith is here from the scripture. Jude chapter 1, that verse 3 to 4 says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the, of the common salvation, it's a common salvation here now, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. He said, We should contend. What does it mean to contend for something? To fight for it. Thank you. Your faith is what fight, fighting for. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, contain. NFT contain for the faith which was one delivered unto you. Verse 4 now says, For there are certain men, creeping on awares, who were before of old, ordained of this condemnation of godly men, turning the grace of, of our God into lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. See what the Bible is saying there. It's a great warning. 
Say for there are certain men crept in unaware who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of God into lasciviousness. What, 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 what are they saying there? There are a lot of people that say, Oh, what well, is it by grace which you are saying? You have the liberty to live, to live the way that you like. After all, God is merciful. God is good. God is kind. You think this God that is good, that is merciful, will allow people to go to hell? The people will be asking that question. You need to be watchful. That is a common salvation that everybody now, when you, when you, when you go there, even those who are drinking in their head, those, those who are smoking, when, when we we'll preach to them, they say they are born again. That's what I've been experiencing. If they will be drinking beer, they will be good, but that's why they say they are born again. They say they have been born again from birth. That, that, that's what they kept telling me. They say, ah, from, 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 from my baby, that, 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 I said, really? But there's no change in your life. You see smoke? You see do this? You see, you see do all this? It's, when you come, the salvation is common now. Very common. Very common. And, and they still live their life anyhow. Very, but they say, oh, it's the grace of God. That the grace of God has given us the liberty to live our life anyhow. That's not true. That's fallacy. Praise the name of the Lord. That is, not, that, that is not the true gospel that, that you are hearing. So you need to be watchful. Bible says ungodly men. They turn in the grace of God into lasciviousness. Let's continue because of my time. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 5. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 5 says, you know, in this scripture sum it up. It says, but watch thou in all things. See, is it all the lists? They are inexhaustible. That's what that scripture is telling me. The area where you need to watch. But it now says, it says, but, but watch thou in all things. In all things. When you go to your place of work to watch. Okay? And when you go to the bank, watch. When you are with your friend, watch. When somebody invites you to, to come and oh, they will say, Lango, Lango, oh, I'm there. They call you to come and to come and, to come and, to come and celebrate with us. When you get there, watch. Because the devil has traps in all, all these places. Whether you are married or not, you, you watch. Praise the name of the Lord. At your place of work, watch. You know, I, 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 I was at my place of work one, one time. There was there was a lady. We've been walking there. I, I met her there. I've, I've spent this in my six years. I mean, after six years there. You know, I, we've been, she's been seeing me every, every day. But there was a day I was, I was just. Um, I, I, I wanted to write something. That lady was so, you know, I, I, they just printed it. And it, I, I, I couldn't really receive it, but I just brought out the glasses and I, and I put that. Why, why, was, I mean, uh, why she just came in? And she was just looking at Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? And before, before, you know, ah, this, ah, Jonah, is it you? I've looked so different, so more handsome. You know? I said, I was that one. You make with this single guy. And I said, but all of them know that I'm the pastor. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> she was not telling me this one about I say I've been this and I'm okay, okay. I'm not interested. <laughs> you, you are, we, are, we, we see almost every day. But don't put on don't do this and then I'm not just more and so much as I I imagine I can be desired. Fallacy. What is sunglasses? What is it? Are you listening to me? When you don't, and there are some clothes when you wear it, it seems as if you are the best man in the world. And people will run after you. Watch. Praise the name of the Lord. So if that time happened to a pastor, so you will be And if the pastor is do this, you don't watch back, and you begin to hear something good. Ah, you see, I'm handsome now. And then from, from, from there, you know, you, you take one thing will lead to the other, God forbid. Praise the name of the Lord. So secondly, let, let me continue with asking that because of my time. See, he says, but watch, watch thou in all things. It now says, endure affliction. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's see 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 7 here. Say, but the end of all things is at hand. The end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober. And watch unto what? Pray. Unto praise. Be ye therefore watch. Watch. Be sober. And watch unto prayer. Because 
Uh, you see, uh, the, the, let me tell you, when, the, when, the, when, when the thief is coming to, to, to rob somebody, most of the time do they announce that they are coming? That's how Christ will come, as a thief in the night. When all of us, you know, we, we, we must be watchful. So that any time when, when it comes, it will be too late to start praying at that time. Why don't you just get on your feet? I want you to talk to God. I don't know how this short message that, has, that the Lord has built that to minister to you. But I need you to talk to the Lord with, with yourself. Just talk to God. But I will say, watch and pray. Have, have you been watchful? Have, have you been careless about your Christian faith? Have you been watchful about what, what your eye has been gazing? Have you been watchful about what your, what your mouth is saying, what your lips are, and that is coming out of your heart? Have you been watchful about, about the event of the world, about your faith? Are you, are, are you still the same person that received Christ many years ago? Why don't you just talk to the Lord about it? Talk to God about it, that the Lord will help you. Ask that the Lord will wake you up. There will be a great awakening in our lives right now. And then pray for yourself that the Lord will awake you. Whichever in the area where you are sleeping, let the, let the, that all of us will awake out of our slumber. That the day will not meet us on our way. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Or maybe you are here, you are getting to the board again, you, you have not started yet. This can be your, the day by which you will accept Christ as the Lord and Savior. You can talk to the Lord about it as well. Maybe you are, at any time you have never given your life to Jesus and you want to do so right now. There must be a time that you must make up your mind that Christ will be your Lord and Savior. That enough of the world, enough of not being serious with your faith. Enough of, of you putting it up and say, well, I want to achieve that, I want to achieve that before I can be born again. Today might be your day. If you are in that individual, I want you to talk to the Lord right now. Ask that the Lord God Almighty will forgive you your sin. Ask that your name will be written in the book of life. Ask that the Lord will deliver you from whatever thing that wants to take you away from getting into heaven. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because, because the, the grace of God that I bring salvation is appearing to you right now. Tomorrow might be too late. And maybe you are back today as well. And you want to, you want to return home. Why don't you just talk to the Lord? Say, Father, I know I'm back today. I know if you come right now, I'm not worthy to go with you. I'm not being watchful. Lord, you need today, I, I will dedicate my heart. Go ahead and talk to him. Dedicate your heart to him this morning. Ask that the Lord will cleanse you, will pour you, will sacrifice you, and prepare you for his coming. 